they find the clue. Ladies and gentlemen, competitors, welcome to the 2009 National Police Shooting Championships. I'm Deputy Chief Mike Castro. I'll be your master of ceremonies today. Our thanks to the uh, APD Honor Guard, Officer Adam Garcia for singing the national anthem, and, and Chaplain Ross Nichols. I want to recognize a few people we have here in our audience today. First and foremost, the Honorable Mayor of this city and a great supporter of the National Rifle Association and the MPSC, Mayor Martin Chavez. The mayor's right-hand man, responsible for all this beauty you see out here, Chief Administrator Officer for the City of Albuquerque, Ed Adams. The best police chief in the world, honestly. Chief Ray Schultz. I'd also like to recognize President of the NRA, Ronald Schmeitz. Past President of the NRA and Executive Director, Kane Robinson. Andrea Sorwinski, Deputy Director of General Operations. Glenn Hoyer, Executive Director of the Law Enforcement Division. Mark Lipp, the competitions manager. He's working. Now I'd like to introduce you to our NRA board. Tom Gaines, board member and chairman of the NRA's Law Enforcement Assistance Committee. Our own Dr. Tom Arvis. Dr. David Bennett. Tim Powell. Dennis Willing, and last but not least, Bill Allen. At this time, I'd like to invite uh, Mayor Chavis to the podium to say a few words. Uh, thank you, Mike. Uh, I simply uh, want to welcome everybody here uh, from around the world, frankly. Uh, we're so proud of law enforcement here in the city of Albuquerque, and I know exactly what each one of you do back home. Uh, and in, at least by my faith, I believe very much in good and evil, and I believe in my heart that you represent good. And today you're here to uh, uh, hone your skills, to show your talents. I wish that you would be able to do as well as the APD shooters are going to be out here today. But I understand that may not be possible given uh, their outstanding uh, skill. See, I'm leaving. I can talk all the trash I want to. Uh, and, I, and I do want to recognize Ray Schultz and thank him, the chief of the Albuquerque Police Department. He is an outstanding, simply great chief of police. Uh, so to the NRA, we built this for you. To law enforcement, uh, we built this for you. Enjoy your stay in Albuquerque. Spend freely. <laughs> That's my pleasure to invite uh, NRA President Ronald Schmeitz to the podium to say a few words also. Thank you. And uh, I think the main thing is welcome all to New Mexico. You know, this is my home state. And uh, I think that looking at the weather this morning, and we're like 55 degrees or something like that up in Raton, and you're 80 here. Uh, but I understand you're going to get part of that tomorrow. So uh, enjoy today. But the neat thing about it, the weather is great, you know, great blue skies. One of the things that I remember when I first came to New Mexico, I was out hunting, and we took some pictures during the day. And that evening, uh, we were viewing them on the TV, and I just couldn't believe, and you'll find that when you take your pictures and go back home, how blue and clear the skies are here in New Mexico, and welcome to each and one of you. You know, I want to do a special thanks, and I kind of want to start how this thing started. Uh, several years ago, uh, Governor Richardson uh, appropriated some funds for this range, and with the help of Mayor Chavez and his excellent staff, they were able to put that money, add some additional to it, and we have what we have here today. And I want to thank uh, Mayor Chavez for, for doing that and for coordinating everything and making it happen for us here today. You know, this is our fourth year here, and we moved from someplace back east. 
I don't really care about back east. I care about the Midwest, and I care about New Mexico, and I care about Albuquerque, and I think it's great. You know, I think this is a good example of where state and local communities can work very closely with the National Rifle Association, and we can put on functions like this throughout the United States. And especially here, we have 300-plus uh, shooters here. Uh, welcome to each and every one of you, and thank you. And I think it stands for what we all believe in, and that's Second Amendment and freedom. And that's what we're exercising here today. We're able to exercise our rights under the Second Amendment. And we never need to forget that. We, we must always make sure that we have that. I think that um, we have some of the, and maybe the finest law enforcement individuals throughout the United States, and also some from throughout the world. Welcome to each and every one of you, and have a great time, and let's have a super shoot. Thank you. I'd also like to invite Kane Robinson up, say a few words. Two things I would like to say. First of all, as a longtime police commanding officer, I think I've got a pretty good idea of who has their act together. And when we came down here from the governor to the mayor to the chief and to chief staff, this, this whole part of the country, but, but this police department, this city, and the help of the governor has been absolutely stunning. The people know what they're doing. They know how to do big projects. They know how to make them work and we're very proud to work with with all of you and and it's it's a it, it, it's really something to work with people that know what they're doing and can do these kind of projects the other thing is all of you that come and shoot you're what make it successful virtually everybody that's here is a firearms instructor so what happens here and what what i always told my administration when i was working my way up <clears throat> and I expected my officers to tell me later on is that the big value of coming here is that we are mostly instructors and we learn the best techniques from other people. We learn them back when we're talking. We see what other officers are doing in their shooting, what kind of things are happening in their departments, and how can we turn that into training. And that's the real value of what we do here, and it's a big, big deal. Thanks for coming. So for the next few days, we're going to celebrate our freedom, the freedom and the right to bear arms. I'm proud to say that this day, I'm the father of a son who's chosen to devote the next few years of his life to fight for that very freedom as a soldier in the U.S. Army. Good luck to all the competitors. God bless you all, and let's have a great tournament.